folks, this is Key and Tom from Show Me Coasters. Welcome to Darren Lake. We're going to do a fun day in the park here, showcase what the park has to offer. So come join us and have some fun. Looks like they're starting getting the park ready for Halloween. And of so straight ahead is the Emporium, the souvenir shop, but that's more like a midpoint of the park. So we're getting ready to ride our first ride of the day, Tantum, the park's uh, Gerslau Eurofighter add to the park here in 2018. I haven't rode this uh, since 2017 when we were at Six Flag over Georgia. Hey folks, I'm getting ready to ride my first ride for the day. This is Tantrum, which is the Gerslauer Eurofighter here at the park. This was added in 2018. We'll see you when we get off. <laughs> So I just got off the Tantrum, the park's Gerslauer Eurofighter, uh, and that's a really intense little coaster. It's small, it's compact, it's a lot shorter than the one at Daredevil Dive down at Six Flags over Georgia, but it really packs a while. It looks it's a really like, uh, great coaster. Compact yeah, each other here. The, the, the elements come one right after the other. It really knocks you out. Oh my God. He came out without the back. <laughs> Amy, where you live? Uh, April and Dave from Columbus, Ohio. And your coaster enthusiast? Yes. Awesome, that's awesome. How many coasters have you written? Five, six hundred. Awesome. Oh, wow, that's yeah. incredible. Oh, that's what did lot. I say last night? It was my... Four something? Four hundred some... Four hundred some coasters. Congratulations, guys. Great, right, that's awesome. About two, three hundred. So what do you call your home park? Cedar Point. Cedar Point? Oh, so, oh, Cedar Point is two hours north of Kings Island's an hour and twenty minutes south. Oh, Used to be Evil Knievel. Yep. Uh -huh. Was my number one. Oh, wow. I don't know if you've heard Mystic Timbers or Kings Island. Yep. Yeah. That yeah. overtook it, but oh, I think right. yours is number two. All right. Well, thanks for saying yes. that. We appreciate it. I love uh, the boss. I love the Screaming Evil. Uh, thanks for thanks for and the love. Uh, two diehards. Mr. Freeze was my first launch coaster at that park. Awesome. Oh, wow. Great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so if you join us, we could be right here. Okay. Well, thanks for the interview. No problem. Uh, thanks. Have a great night. We didn't have that post. So here's another place for tea to have a drink if it gets tired. <laughs> so this was a ride we missed earlier in the tour. This is the sleigh ride. It's made by Mac. This is what they what did they call uh, Petersburg Slide and Fort. Right. <laughs> you almost say a bad word. <laughs> almost, yeah. So I, I think don't think it's running. Out. They don't have any any signage for it for some reason. Maybe they're getting ready to take it out. Okay, folks, so I'm getting ready to ride the scariest ride here at the park at Darien Lake. Um, it's based on one of the most vicious animals in North America, and uh, I'll show, I'll, we'll talk more about it when I get off. There's your ferocious animal, folks. <laughs> it's moose and squirrel. <laughs> You're going to be famous! <laughs> You look like an urban cowboy. <laughs> Giddy up. <laughs> you survived the moose attack, huh? So how's that ferocious animal? I don't know, boy. That's a bucking bronco for her husband. <laughs> Bye, Victor. <laughs> So yeah, this is really fun. This is a great little kids ride here. A lot of kids love uh, It's very similar to the steeplechase uh -huh. that uh, SNS, SNS produces. I think it is. So this may be by SNS. We'll have to do a little research and check that out. But it was really great. It's a really fun little ride. So, all right, let's go and uh, we're going to hit the next coaster. We're going to hit is going to be the motor, motor coaster. coaster. Got to get that. That's one of the. So we're going to head towards that end of here. the park. Let's relax for a couple hours. T's getting ready to take on Hornet's Nest here. Okay. 
so I just got off uh, Hornet's Nest, uh, uh, the Larson scooter. I apologize, folks, after <laughs> yesterday, uh, Time Warp and uh, what was the other ride? Uh, uh, the Sledgehammer Claw. It's looking kind of these. I felt a little beaten up, but uh, it was a relaxing ride. It's you just want something to relax. And this is a great. They got do have a great collection of uh, kids rides. Kids ride and family rides for a smaller park. So we'll head out to Motor Scooter and enjoy another uh, intense coaster. A coaster that's unique. So folks, C and I are getting ready to ride Moto Coaster here at Darien Lake. This is the Zamperla Motorbike Flywheel, flywheel model. launched model. So we'll see you when we get up. So we just got off the uh, motor coaster, the San Perla flywheel launch motorbike. It's a great ride. It was really fun. I, uh, I enjoyed it. It was a, the, the uh, first transition after the launch. It took is you a little bit, a little faster than you thought, and well, it's a little hurts a little bit. It's a little yeah. jarring. Yeah. But actually, this was a really fun coaster. It's, it's really good, awesome. Use of space. They don't have much space yeah. to live, and it, it's a good ride. I would love to have one of these in St. Louis. Out uh, motor coaster here. Dairy Lake, and I was surprisingly enjoyed it. But uh, unfortunately, folks, the weather's not cooperating. Uh, it's almost five o'clock, and heavy rain's supposed to be com coming in. We'll try to get one coaster. We're going to try and get one more coaster. At I least one more coaster, maybe one flat ride in before it rained real hard, and we'll head back to St. Louis. I think I want to try and get in Detonate or whatever. Pr oh, predator? The, the, the Den. The Den. Oh, Predator. Yeah. So Tom's going to ride Predator. <laughs> Predator. <coughs> yeah. Tom's getting ready to ride Predator here, the Parts Din roller coaster built in 1990. And there's very few of these left, folks. Um, only a handful. I know this one and the one in Worlds of Fun. Um, what's that one called? Uh, Timberwolf. Timberwolf. But yeah, it, they're, they're older. Classic wooden coaster. They tend to be a little rough, but if, if you're a true die-hard roller coaster fan, you're gonna want to ride one of these. Hey, so this is Tom. I'm getting ready to ride Predator here at uh, Six Flags Darien Lake. Oh wow! This is a oh, beautiful view. Oh my god. Okay, so we just got off of Predator here at Darien Lake. I'm not 
so sure. It has it, this good part. And it's I mean, it's, it's, kind of, it's a pretty fun coaster, but that's probably the roughest coaster I've ever been on. It's as great, far as the wooden yeah, coaster but goes. A great view of the lake, though. Yeah, and it, yeah. it just kind of goes to show that once these dens start aging, they really, you know, but, it starts to deteriorate. You know, um, just uh, retracking of this coaster would oh, oh, restore. Yeah. If they brought GCI yeah, in it's a very unique it, outlay and it's being kind of remind me of El Toro uh, playing with the lake and stuff. Yeah. But it, it's, it has uh, some rough spot. But it's not bad. I, I mean, you get some good air time on it though. So that's going to do it for Detonator. Or oh, Predator. Predator, Predator so, yes. I don't know why I keep wanting to call it Detonator. But that's going to do it for Predator. So folks, we just got a uh, Predator. Uh, uh, it's got a hit and miss, but uh, I don't know, maybe it's just, it's raining and kind of wet. It seems a little rough today, so I'm heading off here to blast off the s, &S power shot here at uh, Darren Lake. I haven't rode this in a long time, and it's been a couple years. <laughs> the last time I rode one of these was at Cedar Point. So I just got off the s, &S power shot here at Darren Lake. Um, it's unique. I, I forgot how it feel. I, we, our park is the, the intimate drop where you just feel weightless all the way through here. When it drops, you feel weightless, but when you go, it goes back up, man, it feels like all your weight's on your butt. Yeah. That's what's different about it. I, I think this one is a, the taller model. Taller yeah, this is taller than Detonator, detonator in World of Fun, World of Fun sure. in Kansas City. So we're uh, racing uh, against the weather here, uh, heading toward, um, uh, <laughs> not Ride Superman, of Ride of Steel. I want to say Superman Ride of Steel, but it's, they have it at the branding. <laughs> so we're heading toward a Ride of Steel and uh, get probably our last ride of the day before the heavy rain comes in here. T's going to go and jump on Ride of Steel here in just a second. He's getting ready to take off on Ride of Steel. We'll see if he, how he, if he's feeling very much like Clark Clint when he gets back. So I just got a ride of steel here at uh, Darren Lake. Um, I thought it was an identical clone, but I think this is a Miriam clone of the uh, Superman ride of steel, steel in uh, Six Flags America. And for me, it, it felt different because it's everything's reversed. I haven't rode the uh, Superman ride of steel a few times, uh, a few years in uh, Six Flags America. And, uh, I think it's a mirror image clone, not a, a identical Might clone. Be. But it, it's, I mean, it's relative to the technology at that time. It's one of the earlier intimates, so they haven't perfected yet, but uh, I enjoyed it. So we just met another coaster enthusiast and musician. Go What's ahead up, and finish your name. My name is Scummy DeFaz. Um, we're here at the Man of Steel right now. Thing goes up pretty high, probably almost about 300 feet. Um, just hanging out at Darien Lake today, it's a little gloomy, but you know, yeah. it's a very nice day. I mean, it's very dead for the park, so everybody's getting on these rides and they're going. So, How do you if, spell um, the name of your site? It's uh, Scummy, like S-C-U-M-M-Y-D-E-F-A-Z, Scummy Defaz. You can find me on iTunes, Spotify, uh, SoundCloud, YouTube, any digital wow. retail, you'll be able to find it. All right, cool. Thank you. Folks, we're back on the main strip here, heading toward the front. For the first time, I am glad the weatherman is long. And it, this is the rain's supposed to come in at five. It's actually six o'clock now, and 
we got it done just in time so we'll take you to the front and we'll say goodbye to you so yeah if, definitely if you get a chance to come up here i would <laughs> yeah i might pull a camper up here with the yeah. kids next year So folks, thank you for joining us the last three or four days here for the holiday weekend at uh, Canada's Wonderland and here at uh, Darien Lake. It's been exhausting four days, but uh, Actually, it's been good. We've it's never, been good. We've ne I never visited Darien Lake before. Never. No, but we're really impressed with this it's, park. It's unique. It's like a, like I said, it's like a, a amusement park slammed right into a campground. But it gives you a different atmosphere. And a happy holidays. And have a safe and happy Labor Day weekend. Exactly. We'll see you back in St. Louis. Have a great night. Thank you.